Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, for those that have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, thank you for clicking to my channel. Today we want to look at uh, how you can design a very large uh, space area. Uh, what you must include and what you must not include. We're actually going to look at how you probably have to blend your furniture and colors, how you totally have to distribute them all together to give you a very good uh, uh, environment that everyone will appreciate when it comes into your building. Uh, today, we are looking at one of the modern trends of designing in uh, a very big uh, lobby area actually what we call a waiting area. So we shall look at how, how it is properly planned and how the furniture is blended and the colors. And it gives you the ambience of the lights, how the lights are being distributed. And uh, actually now we, we, we shall start and we shall look at most of the modern trends now of designing. Uh, you will take a look guys, we shall move together. Yeah, right now here we have one waiting coffee table that one can enjoy but besides itself we have a plant that is put aside that's for the maximum of supply of uh, um, for the beauty of the area uh, you look at the coffee set that is put uh, with the two-seater with a round table um, we go you look at uh, uh, one of the picture frames that is being uh, raised up on, on top. It also gives a very good view. Uh, we go along, we look at, um, uh, that is the design in the middle of the lobby, which is quite very good and gives you a very good uh, um, goal view that you can have at the time. So we look at, um, we look at uh, the middle of uh, the lobby that is divided at equal, equal, equal length and width. We have middle, we have the fountain. It also gives you a very good uh, picture and a view that you can have. It really goes, we can move around. You'll have a look at how it is plainly. We have one uh, tighter pole that is raised up, uh, interior pole. It's also very good. It will give you a very good view, yeah. Uh, get look at the furniture how it is blended and how the colors are being bright up together the light itself it gives you a very good ambience outside and uh, this is pretty very good uh, to side that when you get to enter this first impression is really very good and you really get to enjoy it at a given period of time which is actually very good at a time so you look at the floor itself, well polished, and the lights, the square of the lights gets through that you don't even have to wonder why you're in that place. Uh, aside here, we have again another plant tail that is being kept in the side, uh, which will give you the ambience. The picture rails at the time also being raised up at a given period of time. So this is what called, look at the blendings of the color. It's pretty, very good that you can have. Uh, gives you a very good view of what you need actually to have at a time. So for those that guys are planning to have the interior designs in their areas, you need to first plan accordingly how you can distribute the colors itself and how you need to blend it at a time. Uh, and which kind of furniture you are to include in your area also matters. And look at the ceramic tire here. The wall is very smooth with colors that are blended together that match the cream color on top, a couple of the cream color down. Then we have the white painted ceiling at a time, which will give the lights out at all angles with the brightness. So it's quite very beautiful. You wait for the building lounge, which is good. You can really have the view of it and how the colors are being blended and how they're being put at a time together. So it will give you the view 
that is extremely very good at the time and you absolutely get to enjoy it at one moment of time. For those that have love ambience, for those that love a very clean environment, at least you can have it and you'll admire it at a time. And even the coffee set that you tend to put, the furniture that you tend to put, it should be that that is going to, that is going to be within the value of, within the estimated value of the space that you have, uh, which is not going to overcrowd the area, but it will give you a very good view and it will give you a very good, uh, sir, sir uh, a very good environment that you'd like um, to have in that area. And even the visitors that will come in that area will, will look at and appreciate at a time. The space itself, how you get to space each item at a different angle also matters at a time or in a given area, which is pretty very good and you can have it. So we look at this area, which is also very good and how the furniture is set. It is set in such a way that it is spacious and arranged to those, to those colors that everyone would admire to, to have in the area. Now the visiting visitor at least can have the area, feel it and feel the ambience and the warmth of the area, which is quite very good at a time. So I wanted you to have a look at the waterfront, the water which can be added also to the area to give it a very good look at a time, to distribute it at a time and you can have it. So for those that would love a very good look, you would have those, uh, all those colors and uh, put together. But also remember the colors should also match the lighting the lighting is very important to give the beauty of the area. It will definitely give out the whole picture of the area altogether. And uh, that will engulf the beauty uh, of, of the place that you, you really want to, to design at a given period of time. Uh, it will give out the brightness and uh, you will feel it at a time. So we also talk about uh, the flow. Um, the types of the tiles that you have to put down also matters. Um, then we have the porcelain tiles. Uh, uh, they're very easy to clean uh, with a very good shining uh, surface. Uh, that will give the sparkling of the lights, especially the bright lights that will give out a very good view. So the nature of the tiles also is very important. The lighting and how probably I say how probably one gets to fix up the lights which is which is also very important so all in all it will be how probably how to sit down and design the area you plan for the area and uh, you make sure that each and everything is planned accordingly and put in the right position or in the right place such that it can give you a very good beauty for those that have love designing love interior designing at least you can have a clip and, and look at what you can also include in your area in case you have a very big area and hopefully, probably how you can plan it maximizingly. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Those that have not subscribed, consider subscribing. Click, uh, comment in the subsection below. I'll be able to get back to you uh, in the right time. Thank you for subscribing. My name is Mick Samuel. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel.